Hi, my name is Owen, and today I'm going to be teaching you some techniques in Microsoft Word 2010. Um, what I'm going to be teaching you today is borders and shading, um, inserting images and tabs and borders. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is um, borders and shading. So what you want to do for borders and shading is you want to make a power point and put it in the right top of the page and you can actually make the page for the background and put it in borders. So you can see here, this is the page border, this is where your whole page so if you select this, it's not going to go in your, your paragraph so I'll teach you how to do that right top of the page. Now make sure to select change the font and change the color of the page. So I'm just going to change the font type of the page here. There we go. Power point. Now take that out. All you have to do is select it and then OK and it just disappears. Now for a paragraph. If you just want a uh, border around your paragraph, all you have to do is click and select the paragraph. Go to page borders and then go to borders, not page border because that will select the whole page. So go to borders. Go to one of these, I'll just go to three. Uh, this is the one I want to go with. The three points. Okay, see, now you have a border. Now, same thing, like if you want to take it out, you just go to one. But I'll go to shading. So, same thing, it's still in this paragraph, so it's going to be a shading border. So, I'll press page borders again, go to shading. Uh, you can choose what color you want it in. So, I'll put this in this color. And then you can choose how dense or yeah, like how solid you want your color to be. So solid 100% and then it's, it's going to be okay. So if you want to make it a bit lighter, you s you can select the super soft or something that's going to be really soft. And there you have it. That's pay like that. That's borders and shading right there. So I'll just take that out. And if you want it on your screen, you can just go ahead and click on it. pretty simple. So uh, now I'm going to teach you how to insert some of your images. So there are many, many options for it. You can do a screenshot, you can do like a little uh, diagram to make it look like you're doing a chart. Um, shapes, shapes over here, click on the shapes and click on it. If you want text box, you can insert a text box and then you can put like lines or lines to make shapes. All you have to do is click on it and it will make, see how big it will be. Or maybe it looks, yeah, it's fairly small. You can also, after you, um, after you plant it down on your page, you can still change it. Um, to get rid of it, all you have to do is click on it and press delete on your keyboard. Um, another thing for images is called clip art. Now, on Word, there's like a lot of pictures that you can put down. So if I type something in here, I can do whatever. So I'm just going to put in instructions. And I'm, I can also just search for, actually, I'm just going to, I'll just search for something. So I'll search uh, chef. So if I search chef, oh, there, a piece of cake that was left over. I can put that on my word for now. Same thing, uh, just select it and press delete on your keyboard. teach you some picture stuff. So what we have to do for picture is uh, go to edit mode. So I'm just going to select my word and I'll click on clip art. And you press the right click on it. You can do save image as and I'll just put this To get rid of it, just click on it and press delete on your keyboard and it's gone. It's pretty simple. Um, and finally, the last one for or second last one for sure is the screenshot. Now, the screenshot only works if you have like another window on that same page. So I'll press screenshot, so I'm clipping. Now, you can go 
Same thing to delete it. Just press the button. Next, I can show you to go back. Um, or, well, I should say go back. It's just retrieve your raw resources and materials. Just do uh, right click, save uh, copy image, and go back to your folder. Right click, which is where you paste it. So I'm just going to choose this one. It's back. Same thing to delete. You just press the image. So that's it for inserting images. I hope that helped you. Um, now for our final thing is going to be tabs and loops. Now this is a bit tricky. So tabs and loops you can use it for a lot of things. Like for example, a menu item. See those little dots that you put when you go to like a, a restaurant or something like that. So you have it in the bar. So say I put like I'm just pressing period here and here. It's going to get three times. So I'm going to put like tabs. Now, when you put the price, it's going to be like say $20. That was a lot of words right there. But tabs and years don't really matter. Because it's just a word. Like a little paragraph. Exception. Obviously, you'd probably use four if you're dealing with like cheap food products. But I'm just going to show you two because it's so easy. So you're going to press OK. It's not going to pop up right on your screen. So you, what you have to do is you press Tab and keep going until it does pop up. So that's pretty easy. So you do that, then you put like a price here. So you put like twenty twenty dollars and fifteen. Put another another thing down here. Another one down here. There. And there you go. It's it's pretty easy because you just click dots. Um, there isn't like many other things that you can choose from. Tabs and loops like do dots and put another one down here. So easy. So if you're if you're a teacher, you want lines, I guess, to like your students to 